Hi, my name is Paul Ford and I'm an education consultant at Jigsaw24. My role is to explore creative technologies in the classroom, providing the necessary training and support to teachers and senior leadership teams, ensuring the best teaching and learning outcomes. This video is just a taster, as we can provide a variety of flexible training courses covering iPad in any subject. In this part of the introduction to iPad course, we'll look at creating documents on the iPad. To do that, we're going to use an app called Pages. Pages is an app created by Apple and specifically made for word processing. It's designed exclusively for iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch with support for multi-touch gestures and smart zoom. The good news is that Pages can be installed for free with every newly activated device as of the 1st of September 2013. So let's create a document in Pages. To do this, simply press the create button indicated with a plus symbol on the left hand corner of the screen. From here, you can choose from a number of templates, which includes reports, letters, flyers, posters, cards, brochures, and newsletters. With so many templates to choose from, any user should be able to create a suitable document. This also provides great support for differentiation, as it allows any student to begin creating learning outcomes quickly and easily. For now, tap on Visual Report to select the template and begin building a document. Let's begin by changing the title. In this document, we're going to try and demonstrate our understanding of Pythagoras' theorem. So let's add a title. To change any text in pages, simply press on the text. The keyboard will appear and you can begin to edit the text by typing on the keyboard. You can see we have the ability to edit the font type. We can also change the size of the fonts here and we have the ability to make the font bold, italic or underlined. To insert a capital letter, you need to press the shift key on the keyboard. If you double tap the shift key, this will turn on the caps lock function. You can add numbers and symbols by pressing this key here. You can also find the undo button here as well. If you have a third generation or older iPad, that's the iPad 3 and above, and Siri is enabled, you can also use the dictation tool. This will write any text that you dictate to it like so. Pythagoras theorem. You will need a Wi-Fi or 3G connection for this to work. So now we have a title, I'm going to add a subtitle by tapping on this text here. Now I want to add an image, so I'm just going to reduce the keyboard by tapping on this keyboard button here. You can see that if a template includes images just like this one, I can actually replace by tapping on the bottom right hand corner of the image with a little plus symbol here. This will allow me to insert any photos or videos I already have on the camera roll. You can see that the image hasn't displayed correctly because the frame is too small. I can easily correct this by double tapping the image. Then I can press and drag the corners of the frame to ensure I can see all of the image. I can also resize the image by dragging this slider left or right. Right will increase the size, left will decrease the size. I can also move the picture around the frame by pressing on it and dragging it like so. Once I'm happy with the size of the picture in the frame, I can press done. And I can delete images by tapping and selecting the image. Then I can press delete to remove it. And as cute as the meerkats are, I'm going to delete them too. If we would like to edit anything we have already created on the document, you need to select it and then press the paintbrush tool. The edit tools will change depending on your selection. For instance, text will have font colors, style and justification options, while images will have other options such as border, shadow and arrangement options. Press the plus icon next to the paintbrush tool to insert media, tables, charts, free text, and shapes. If you see dots at the bottom of the menu here, this means you can swipe left or right for more options. The tools button here provides further options. You can search and replace keywords and phrases within a document, enable tracking to monitor changes that have been made, adjust document setup and settings such as paper size, set a password for the document, and also print to any network printer with AirPrint enabled. Finally, you can also tap the help icon for more information about tools and functions in pages. 
For now, I'm just going to tap done to get back to the document. To share the document, you need to tap this icon here. This allows you to send a live document link via iCloud. This means people can edit your documents while you're still working on it. You can also send a copy via AirDrop, Mail, iTunes, or Apple's own WebDAV. You can also open the documents into another app. If I select open in another app, you can see there are a number of format options I'm given. I can send the document as a pages document, a PDF. I can even send it as a Microsoft Word document so it will be compatible with Microsoft Office. Or I can send it as an EPUB, which will allow it to be opened in any e-reader. An important point to remember is that as well as the ability to export in Microsoft Word format, you can also import any Microsoft Word document into pages. This means any existing resources that you've already created can be imported, opened, and edited on iPad. Thanks for watching. If you'd like any more information, then please feel free to contact us using the details that are coming up on the screen right now.